I'd like to show you a couple things to make debugging programs in Calico Scheme a little bit easier. Here I'm opening up Calico version 2.1 or greater. In the shell, I want to show you uh, a couple of things. The first is a slight variant of lambda. Let's say we have a function, say factorial, and I'm going to go into scheme mode. And we'll write factorial the standard way. Takes a number, and if that number is equal to 1, we'll be return 1. Otherwise, we will return n times the factorial of n minus 1. Close fact, close times, close if, close lambda, close define. So first of all, let's check to see if this works correctly. Factorial of 5. Oops. I should have called that factorial and it told me exactly where the error was, line 5, character 19. So let's fix that and run it again, factorial of 5, and we get 120. <coughs> now if there was an error, uh, it might be helpful to step through um, that as it was running. So one thing that you can do is if you change lambda to be trace lambda and add a second parameter uh, the name of the function that you would like to identify let's call it factorial uh, and that's just a symbol so change lam lambda to trace hyphen lambda and add a keyword there uh, which is the name of the function hit enter and now when you run factorial you will see that it is showing you two bits of information on every single call to factorial. First it shows you the arguments it was called with uh, recursively and it shows the return value. So here we see factorial 5 is calling factorial 4, calls factorial 3, factorial 2, factorial 1, and then you see the return values matched up with each call. So factorial 1 returns 1, factorial 2 returns 2, 6, 24, and 120. Uh, that's quite useful and you can uh, change any lambda to a trace lambda um, by doing this little trick. Uh, sometimes though you need a little bit more uh, detail and you'd like to perhaps see the function running and maybe even see intermediate values inside the function itself. Uh, to do that uh, you can use some of the stepper functions at the top. But in order to do this we need to run the program as a script. So I'm going to go back up to my program here, factorial, and I'm going to grab that. Control C will copy it. Let's create a new program, a new scheme program, and I'm going to paste that right into that. And let's save this I'll just put it on my desktop and I'll call it fact.ss save. Alright, so now we have the same program with the trace lambda um, and now we can use the slider buttons up here. So one thing that we can do is just move it over from the left just a little bit and then run that. What you can see is the program stepped through everything that we had it do. And in this little program, all we had it do was define the factorial function. And that's what it did, and it highlighted the whole area. What we actually want to do now is call the function from inside the program. So let's call factorial on 5, or whatever you want. Control S will save that. And now when we run it, we can see it stepping through. Now that happened very quickly. Let's slow that down just a little bit. Now when we run it again, we can see it highlighting the expressions that it's currently evaluating. So there it's evaluating equal sign, the expression n, n, n minus 1, 
and we can see also down in the output window we can see the uh, results of any expression lookup. So n at this point is equal to 4 and here we're showing it again. Minus is a procedure. Uh, this call to minus returns the value 3. So you can see intermediate values happening inside the, the call. Uh, we still have this trace lambda so you can also see the call inside here. Now you can use uh, these two uh, tricks independently. So let's stop this for a moment. So let's get rid of the trace lambda and get rid of that extra symbol there in the lambda. And we can run this um, and it's showing you the, the uh, expressions. Uh, we can slow that down even further moving that to the right or we can speed it up quite a bit by moving it almost all the way to the left. There you can see each of the expressions running. You can also uh, slide it back all the way to the left and it will run in full speed. You can also slide it all the way to the right and press go and now it's in a pause mode and you can single step each expression. This is very, very handy for finding where a program might have gone wrong and seeing where the wrong value creeps in. There's one more thing I'd like to show you and that is uh, setting a uh, breakpoint. So let's say that you have a program and it's running uh, and maybe it goes through quite a bit of code so you wouldn't want to sit there and watch it trace over and over again. So what you can do is, uh, let's set this to full speed, but we can click on a line that will actually execute, uh, let's say this if line, and if you right click and select toggle breakpoint, that will set a breakpoint at that line. So now we can, we're running with the regular lambda and the slider all the way to the left, so this is full speed, just regular uh, use of Calico the way that you've been in, using all semester. So now when we click on go, we will find that it runs until it gets to that particular line. At this point, uh, you could slide it all the way to the right and perhaps single step uh, st looking at the particular values. When you're happy with everything, uh, you can slide that back to the left, press go, and it will go until it hits another breakpoint or the same breakpoint. Uh, at this point you might be happy, uh, so you could right click on that and toggle the breakpoint off. And now clicking on the step button again will finish out the computation. That's it for today. Thanks.